Do you love the Premier League? Because I know I do. And here at the Footy Culture, we are here to bless you with an exclusive discount from our friends at Fubo TV, where you can stream all the Premier League matches live in 4K. Do you love watching Hun Ming Sun, Bukayo Saka, Manchester United? All of that is available to stream exclusively here in Canada on Fubo TV. So hit our link in the bio for that exclusive offer. Now let's get into the action. You don't think it's a drop-off? Dude, Herdman never coached a top-level club. Okay, but you don't think it's a drop-off still? No, dude. Dude, Jesse Marsh coached what? Red Bull Salzburg. Mm -hmm. Red Bull Leipzig. Leeds. So he coached in the top top division of Austria, top division in Germany, top division of the, what did he the do Premier League. He what coached you, in the Premier League. What do you do with them? I failed in the Premier League. <laughs> well, dude, that Leeds team <laughs> was Leeds get relegated? <laughs> that, Leeds, that Leeds team was cheeks, man. <laughs> they even, got relegated. Dude, even Bielsa couldn't do good with that Leeds team. And, and I, all of you guys would take Bielsa as a coach. No, but Bielsa I never said that. I would take Bielsa. You wouldn't take Bielsa as a coach. Oh. Bielsa's a little bit of a fraud, low key. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta keep Come on. So who are you taking then? Or? Who are you taking then? I don't know, All Frank, those guys are better than her. Give me lamps, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't mind Marsh. <laughs> give me lamps, bro. Marsh, or you take, or you take. Uh, give me a freaking. Uh, oh my gosh. From uh, Forge. How much, Bobby? Bobby, or you take? Nah. Yeah, I think Bobby would nah. would be a. Give me. No, it makes sense to hire on, someone dude. with the European experience. Yeah. No, I I, I do like Marsh. I just don't think Bradley Bobby. Bobby learned his footy at Olympiacos. There you go. That's then. European experience. But even so, Jesse Marsh has more experience too, right? You mean no, Germany's I, ex-coach? I I his name is. And the thing is, we see Canada, you know, now having friendlies against bigger teams, right? Like, what, against Netherlands, I think they have a friendly coming up. And, and France. France. France as well, too. Obviously, Argentina and the Copa America. Yeah. So you need to, you know, face European teams. And then, obviously, you have that European experience as a gaffer. Yeah. It should help, right? Exactly. If they're going to get a manager, they got to do it now. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Because, <laughs> like, as the time's running out. It's, it's very soon till this European trophy. I mean, uh, Copa, yeah, Copa, Copa America, America starts in, in, in about two months. So, obviously, you'd, you'd want to get that gaffer in well before those friendlies. So, that way, at least he has some time to implement his ideas, his style, and obviously get the team ready for the friendlies, right? But, dude, I think it's kind of... You, you can't compare someone who's coached top level in the Premier League and the Bundesliga to CPL. Do you know what I mean? Like, I yeah, feel like if you had the option to get Marsh or Bobby, I think you have to take Marsh. Obviously, it would be great to have, you know, a CPL gaffer for the league. But I think if you need that experience, like you said, you need that European experience. You need pl you need someone who's coached, you know, top-level European players at these clubs, who's coached Champions League, who's coached in these top leagues, because that's the pressure and that's the quality that you're up against, right? Like, not for anything. You can be a great coach in the CPL, but realistically, that most likely isn't going to translate to the top level of coaching. Yeah, it's tough. Even Obviously, then, you don't know, but even then, like commanding respect from like bigger players too. Like, are they really gonna respect a CPL coach? Who knows? No, but for example, a guy like Bobby Smyrniotis, bear players on the team grew up playing with him. Yeah, so he has a level of respect within the Canadian man, system. Yeah. So, would he, would he, would uh, Bobby be able to bring in players like Herdman did? Like, if they had like a dual nationality, you think he has like that kind of pull? Maybe if they played <laughs> under him in the past. Maybe like those kind of players, but mm -hmm. besides that, it's tough to say, you know. Yeah, I, I think like at the end of the day, like I don't know how much the gaffer really plays a part in that because Herdman wasn't necessarily like a household name that these gaffers would have known. I think it's more so getting players excited about the project and like what's to come. And I think that's what Herdman did well. He got them excited about the potential to qualify. Look at this gold golden generation of players that we have with players like Davies, players like David. And that's when you're able to bring in someone like Eustachio, who was, who was a huge coup, right? But I think at the end of the day, someone like Bobby would be able to do that. Someone like Marsh, I think, would be able to do it as well because you have that excitement about the project. You have that kind of golden generation, so to say. And then you have Copa America, and then you have the World Cup in your backyard. So why wouldn't you want to play for a team that's going to be participating in all these competitions, right? Yeah. No, yeah. I I just don't want Bradley. That, that, that's my final answer. Like, Bradley is oh, a Bradley? no, no, no. What no. about Michael? No, 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 no. 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 He's going to have the same mindset as his dad. No Bradleys coaching Canada. No Bradleys. Don't give me a Bradley. I, I like Michael Bradley and all, but... Uh, but um, Americans coaching at the Canadian yeah, team? It's crazy. Say, does an American... Like, like, give me anywhere isn't else. Isn't it like, like an Argentinian coaching Brazilian team? Nah, I can't really. see that. We, we had a... He's, I mean, Herdman, what? He's British? No, but like... New Zealand. I think. New Zealand? At least he's not like the, the, the team like down mm -hmm. under, you know what I mean? Like Canada's rival, US. No, yeah. Didn't Marshall, Marshall also coach the US national team? No. Do you not? So. It's, it was that bald guy. I think that's still there. 
Oh, yes, 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 sir. But yeah, I don't know. Speaking of bald gaffers who may be out of a job soon, Stefano Pioli. Big, big matchup this weekend. Inter right. versus Milan. It's done. It's done. Please One done. way to do it. It's over, bro. I mean, we all saw it coming. Realistically, City, yeah, this whole season's been a one-horse race. Um, but it's nice Not to see... The whole season, it's been a one-horse race here, realistically. It's hard to call it from the start of the season, I think. Yeah. Like, oh, but January, February, by, by, like, match day five, it was done. Until January. You when did, was, like, two points behind them. When, did it, when, was, when was Inter first? Go One straight first. Like, They're pretty much first. Like, yeah, They exactly. lost one game all year. Like, the, league, the league's been but done. But Juve was with them until January. Okay, okay God. You've never had a chance. What is it that every single time I hear, oh, uh, Farmers League this, Farmers League that, weren't we just saying last year, Italians, oh, the Farmers English League, Farmers League... What about this season, City? Yeah, it's still not. They still Probably have the, teams in Europe right now. Team t- no, but like the, the Inter like took off. Hey, maybe in a couple Inter's, more years. Inter's yeah. an elite team. Man City has three in a row. Inter has two in a row. Inter don't have two. No, in they don't have two. Oh, sorry. Man City got like Napoli four saying. in a row. No. Napoli won last year. Sorry, what am I saying? Yeah, you're right. I'm no, lost. I mean I guess one good thing that you can say for the City A is they've had different winners. If you know, for the last yeah. few seasons, right? You had Inter, then you had AC, then you had Napoli. Now you have Inter again. Yes, you're right. I guess the one concerning thing, if you're a Juve fan, is how long until these Milan teams just completely overtake Juve in terms of being the biggest club in the country? Because I think it's, it's it's pretty close to happening. AC is already so? a bigger club than Juve, no, and if not. Inter if Inter can continue dominance <laughs> in this decade, I would say they can be, be become a bigger team than I'll, Juve. In the country, they're bigger. If they have another, if they have a decade of dominance, which they're poised to do given the squad that they have. I think they can become a bigger team than you. A very aging squad. How are they going to do that? For a that? very aging squad. That's How do they have a very aging squad? A Cherby's gone. De Vrij is going to be gone. And? Midfield. Chanogu's 30. Okay. Like a Terrence, what, going on 35? Okay. So you're just picking the players that are old in the squad, but you're ignoring the fact that they have two fantastic young center backs. Yeah. They have fantastic young wing backs. One of the best midfielders in the league. Not the that, best midfielder. The best in the midfielder league. in the league who's in his prime. Okay. And you have two elite attackers in the City A that are both in their prime. That's not. Is that gonna give you a decade's worth of? The decade you. started. Already. Yeah, <laughs> the decade already started. Two. They already won a scudetto two years ago. Yeah. And now they won one one this year. So they they're gonna, they're gonna final win one every three years. That's gonna be their. their no, tenure. no. But I'm saying, realistically speaking, who's beating this team next season? I'm not going I'm not saying that Juve is gonna come out and beat them next season. Depends on if they could get. But not even, not even Juve. What other team Milan's, in the league? Milan's not. Milan's gonna go down. Okay. So Na- Napoli, with Napoli are, are in the mud. Napoli's in the mud. Yeah. Realistically, the only team that may, Roma, maybe. maybe you can say is Roma. Roma. But dude, we've heard this song and dance before. Realistically speaking, Inter are poised for a decade of dominance, and low key, Juve fans should be worried. Not that word. I'd be, should worried, be worried, man. You should. Worried. They just hit. They just hit the twenty. Right, they just got their second star. They, they got their second the 20 star. Should be nineteen. Though. I think, I think we gotta have a genuine conversation here. Go ahead. Is Internazionale the biggest club in Milano? No, because Inter now have two stars, twenty scudettos. AC Milan have one star, and look, Inter have been dominating for a little while now, and it makes me wonder: Are they the bigger club? No, because obviously you're gonna go. You gotta go look at the European sta- uh, accolades. You're gonna say you're gonna say Milan has seven CLs, but that makes them a bigger club in the world. Are he they a bigger Italy, club yeah. in Italia? Oh, Italy. Okay, if we're going off that, then as I've always said, Juventus is the biggest club in Italy. Then, and you guys gotta agree with that. If we agree with that, then yes, Inter is a bigger club than Milan. Because if you're going off Scudettos, yeah. So what would you say to the AC Milan fans that clearly dispute that? Grow up. Milan fans, you guys stink. You guys are going into another banter era because Jeez. it seems like Pioli is gone. You guys are going to have no replacement. You might bring, I don't even know who you're going to bring. Maybe no you're going to bring in Allegri. Right? Who knows? But uh, yeah, Milan. Inter, yeah, Inter is going to win a, a couple more until another team takes over. Look, Maybe guys. Another three. Guys, look, I love AC Milan. I grew up watching AC Milan. So many legends. Pirlo, Gattuso, Seydorf, Ronaldinho, Kaká. But... We got to look at the real situation here. AC Milan haven't won a Champions League since 2007. They haven't been relevant in Europe since that time. At least Inter Milan made a Champions League final about a year back, right? I mean, I think it's time. Maybe the tide has shift. Similar to how Manchester is shifting blue, maybe geez. Milano is shifting blue. Loki, but to say they were relevant in Europe, they were semifinalists last year. True. What'd they do about it? <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. I don't. Okay. But, I'm gonna. They didn't take over Milan yet because I think they have to do. I think they need a couple more. Because if I still got, you got to add the European accolades into it. You just, you just have to. Milan is slightly a smidge further, but as you said, Manchester is turning blue. Milan is turning into a snakish color of blue. Snakish, snake-ish color. color. Italy so, might be turning blue, man. So what would it take <laughs> for Inter to surpass Milan as the biggest club in Milan? What's the threshold? What's making them surpass them? So we're going off. If we're going off this decade just alone. In this decade, which they already have two, if they could win two more in this decade, or three more in this decade, that they could probably surpass Milan. Even without winning another European title to their collection, if they could continue to compete like they did last year, because this this year they kind of screwed screwed themselves over in the second league by just defending. But if they could continue to thrive in the Champions League as well as do as well as win the Serie A, this this could be a team. Dare I say it? Is Inter the biggest club no. in Italy? No, I can't answer you that. Not for a while. Got, Why not? <laughs> they're Sixteen behind. They got they got ways to go, man. But again, we're looking at math. Yeah. Well, what's the math? Why don't we look at the pitch? Okay. Yeah, the pitch right now. I'll put the pitch back then. Back yeah. when? Whenever. When you we were getting relegated. <laughs> relegated came back and won what nine in a row? Not hard. <laughs> <laughs> and not that good of said, yeah, not hard. So then why didn't Inter do it? Banter. They're about to do it. They might do it. They might not do They're it. They're about to do it. But Fair who point. do you think has been more relevant in Europe? Inter. Yeah, Inter right now, yeah. I'm giving it to them. Yeah, Inter's been elite. So I'm saying if Inter continue to be the most relevant Italian team in Europe, which they have been in the last decade or so, yeah. and they continue to win Serie A's this decade, what stops them from overtaking Juve as being the biggest team in Italy? So I'd love to know. In this decade, how, give me a number of how many Scudettos you think they would have. Let's say they win five this decade. Okay, so th- what, like counting the two already? Yeah. So another, they're on another, 20, another, they're on another, another, another three more. So they're on 23 at the end of the yeah. decade. You aren't you winning another one this decade. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. You're telling me Inter with 23 Scudettos mm-hmm. is bigger than Juve at 36. Well, I'm talking about European competitions as well. Okay, but that's because Juve is still going to get top four in most of these years. Yeah, okay. okay. they will. Hope so. Yeah, Juve's still get banned again. Juve okay. still going to be competing for that title. They're they're going to probably come second most times. Okay, or fourth, fourth to second range. Okay. So what what's what's that to surpass them? They're not. It's not like they're they're not making it in Europe or something. But are they actually doing anything in Europe? Because I haven't seen that. I won't know. I, won't I haven't know. seen them do anything in Europe in time. Well, they, we just got knocked out this year because we weren't allowed to play. But uh, who's who, who, that? Who's to say that we don't we don't do something decent next year or the year after? Who's to say that? If we bring in Mota, young Mota, a young manager like Mota that has tactics that mm. we haven't seen in a, a manager in the CDI for a while. Mm-hmm. But also, what if it doesn't work? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least you tried. Yeah. He also has to bring a lot of players with him, no? I think that's going to be part of the agreements. I think he Isn't wants that Ferguson. A, wouldn't that be a huge change Austin to you? Xerxy. Ferguson from uh, Brighton? No, no. From uh, uh, Bologna. Oh. The, Scott, the good Scottish for, midfielder. The good Ferguson. Yeah. Xerxy? Xerxy and a Calafiori from Bologna. But that's he if he goes to you. Yeah, but it's... Who's saying if that happens? And that's it, if they bring the whole team yeah. with them. Yeah. <laughs> that's if and you they have the money. Do they have the facilities yeah. for that without selling players that they no, can they're going to be have? selling players. They already have Who are they going to be selling? Chiesa? No. Yes. Vlahovic? Rabio, going on a free, so you, you free up some wages. Okay, okay well, well, you're not getting any <laughs> any funds back from that. Okay, yeah, wages. He's on he's on our like highest wages. Okay. Alexandro's done. And you got uh, Bremer. Bremer. Bremer's probably going for... 60 to 70 mil probably. Who's paying that? Okay, so you're losing your only so you're losing your you're losing your best defender. Okay, but that's what and Cal- you lost your best midfielder. And your Califiotti comes in. Okay. Talented center back. Okay. Uh looks like Milik's gone. Moise Keane's gonna be sold. Okay. So that's another two players. Like Ealing Ely, Jr.'s is gone. Okay. Probably 20 mil, whatever. That's the guy you said was better than Sancho, right? At that time. Okay, yeah. I was just, at that time. Uh, yeah. At that time, bro. <laughs> yeah, that time. I just, want, I just wanted to confirm. Knowledge. I just wanted to confirm. Looks like Miretti's gone. They're going to be selling a whole bunch of players. A whole squad, yeah, bro. Yeah, so yeah. How, are you gonna, how are they going to compete next year? What do you mean? You're they're, saying... They're using their, their youth academy to bring in players. <laughs> how so is the youth academy going to compete next year? The youth academy's been good. So what you're saying is Juve's going to be going through a rebuild era. Slightly, yeah. So, how many teams win in a rebuild era? I'm not, I never. How many teams win. compete in a rebuild era? They'll compete. I guarantee you, they compete. They'll compete for top four. Yeah, as they should. But they're not touching the scudetto. No, I never saying. said. I literally agree look, with you. Look, 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 look. Pish posh. This that. <laughs> You're talking nonsense. 
Look, there is a stain on Italian football at the moment, and it's in the shade of Bianconetti. Okay. What's the stain? <laughs> like, what does that mean, though? <laughs> yeah, what's this They're not a good look for the league right now. Why? why? Because they, they should be winning. Why are they not why a good look for the winning? league? Yeah, why? They're clearly Inter's doing the job for them. You don't, you, don't, you don't need Juve to make the be the be the face of in, of Italy. I think they're better off having Inter or Milan having the, be in the face. No, no, Juve is the, no Juve I think is Inter is doing a better job at it. No, no, no. Well, not you even, can say that now, but if you if but, you go look at the the twenty fifteen Juve team, you would be saying, oh, this twenty the twenty fifteen Juve team would destroy this Inter. But not even not even just like football wise, the players have good marketing. Look at a uh, thing. What's it called? Martinez and uh, Turam. Look look how relevant they are in the in the market. Martinez in, in doesn't the have the best PR to be honest, bro. Yeah, but compared to who? Vlahovic? Who Inter? Huh? Who are you saying? Lautaro. Oh, Lautaro. Yeah, I'm, I'm like thinking more Thuram. But in general, Inter have, like, look at the, the the collabs they're doing. Look at the players they're getting. Like, mm-hmm. they're very good, getting well known across, you know. Canadians. Just, you know, just across like, social media in general. They're probably the biggest right now of all Serie teams, I would say. That also helps, I would say. True. In growing but, the team. But as much brand. as I hate to say it, Serie is in better hands when Juve are doing well. But why, though? Why? Yeah, why? It's the biggest club in the nation. Because Juve is a team that makes the other big teams want to be better. For how do I explain? So, so Juve doesn't want to be better. No, no. So Juve being good is because they're the most hated team. No one wants to see them win. This this forces other other teams like Milan, Inter, and all these teams to become better. That's what happened with Inter. They went and got Juve's sporting director and a, a bunch of their players. You can say the same thing now. I'm sure Milan is not happy that Inter just won a title. Yeah, but. I'm I pretty guarantee sure. you a Milan fan would probably be more mad at Juve winning than, than Inter. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. You think so? I don't know about no. that. I'd bet on it. Why? I'd bet on it. Why? Juve's the most hated team in the city, yeah. Over, over their own rivals? A lot, of my, a lot of Milan friends I know hate Juve more than Inter. That's crazy, bro. It is what it is. That they just love to see Juve fail, and to make them fail, you got to beat them. So, And to beat them, you got to become better. That's why Juve is the best to have it in at at the head because they forced the league to get better. Kind of like what they did with that nine. They forced Inter to get better by, as I said. What well, took them nine years of, later? Yeah, nine years. It takes time. It takes time. They like the teams that they had then. Nine years is to crazy. Now, like they had like entire like. But that, but that, but that, but that, what you're saying right now really is makes no sense to me. If it, if no. it takes nine years for a team to realize, oh shit, we want to take Juve down. <laughs> nine do years later, we should do something <laughs> about years. it. They were in debt. A shit ton. How many titles have they won in a row since until another team won it? Yeah, nine. Who was it? Milan? Uh, yeah. And then Napoli, and then no, no who was then it? it was Milan. Inter. Milan, Inter, Napoli, Inter. Oh, wait. Milan, Inter, yeah, it was Napoli. Milan, Inter, Milan, Napoli, Inter. When's the last time you even won a title? A while ago. It might have been like 2019. And it was, it was Ronaldo's last year. Or second Would you say year. the league is better now in terms of quality yeah, than it was better. then? Wait, wait. So what does what does so what does Juve have to do with that then? Why do you think it's better? Because no, but that but that was but you're, what you're telling me five years ago. I just told you why they 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 were forced to go no, out man. and get and get flared. They literally got Beppe Marotta from Juve. When's the last time this happened? What do you mean? That well, that, Juve was in the rain and people wanted to take him down and they wanted to like make the league. I'm sure, it's been happening forever. No, you, that that's, that doesn't. Where, I, don't where know. Was, I don't see. I don't. Serie after 2006 was not good when they when they got relegated. Who was winning the trophies then? Milan Inter. Didn't Inter win a treble? But wasn't the whole wasn't when Juve was back up? Wasn't Inter also the? What in, does that in, have to do with Juve though? Because yeah. Juve's back in bro. Everything revolves around Juve. There's but wasn't it. Inter also part of that whole thing? <laughs> but they didn't get as they didn't bad. Get anything. But they're also part of it. Yeah, Milan, I think the league Milan in general was just corrupt. Points, thirty points or whatever it was. I, I think the league in general was just corrupt. At that point, it was. I don't. Know, I personally don't see the Juve making the league better whole thing out of it because what as I see right now, and Juve is not even in the picture in the last five years. They are. In the it's been better. The league has been better. Can you say that though? The league has been better. Yeah, without, without Juve, Juve in the picture. In the picture. Okay, but Juve is going to slowly become back in the picture. You know but that, then right? that it's going to make the league worse. I'd say. No, it's not. <laughs> no, I think Juve, Juve will be in the picture, but they won't be contending for the title. And I think that's good for the league because now when you're having different winners every year, like we've seen the last five years, I think that motivates teams to go out, spend money, improve your squad, and try to compete because it seems more attainable, mm-hmm. right? When you're seeing the same team win the league every year, you're thinking, all right, you know what? And even if we spend $150 million this summer, you were probably still going to win, right? But now you're seeing, okay, Milan won, then Inter won, then Napoli won, Inter won again. There's a new winner every year. 
So now let's say if you're a team like Roma, you're hot with Di Rossi. Maybe you invest in the squad because you know what? We can maybe actually have a run at the league because there's not that one team that's going to be dominating the league for a whole decade. So I think that is better for the league as a whole than having one dominant team than the other teams trying to catch up. All right, so enough of enough of City. Uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> and what's that? Barcelona. They go and take the L against Real Madrid 2-1. Or was it three two? Three two. <laughs> Which game were you watching? This guy bro? Is, talks no, I, the I most at, shit. Doesn't watching, know the score. I was watching York United versus Forge. Oh my god! All right. So a real game. A real game. So <laughs> I know. Five I, did, I, I watched the highlights, game. but uh, I, I know you guys are gonna say something about this game because oh, yeah, another robbery, another, bro. Oh, it's oh, to be expected now. Wasn't a penalty. Yo. Robbery. It's to be expected. It's crazy. Just more robberies in the league, man. Madrid have been robbing the league since the fifties. Like Madrid have been robbing the league since the fifties. Yep. Madrid's the, Madrid's the Juve of La Liga, bro. He's just 70 years old. 1960 European Cup. I'm not sure if it was a final or not, but there was a clip circulating on Twitter. I've seen it before. <laughs> That's but crazy. Paco Hento, uh, Spanish player, I believe, threw on goal for Madrid. A player, you know, coming onto him like this. Yeah. Gives him a little nudge. Yeah. Referee calls a penalty. Softest call I've seen in my life. You saw it? In my life. Yeah, there was a clip that you showed me. What, what year was this? The clip. Yeah. 1960. But you um, said it was a European Cup. Yeah. Not La Liga. We're talking about La Liga. I'm talking about in general. Real Madrid paying the refs. Just <laughs> yeah, dude, corruption at, all dude. around. At the end of the day, Madrid paid the refs. We know we all we all know Barca paid the refs as well. 20 mil on the wage book nah. for the Barca refs. Negre, hey, prove uh, it, bro. The Negre, Negre case was dismissed. Yeah, dude, I'm sure all these I wonder why. I'm sure all these cases have been dismissed. But let's get down to business. 3-2. <laughs> Jude Bellingham. Another winner. Man of the match. Yeah, another tap in. Yeah. Ca- so tap in. Don't so even go there with that, so man. Anger. What? That was a yes. Goal. Hey, yes. Well, what was that a beautiful goal? Dude, I want to <laughs> see. If, if it was. If, <laughs> the, only re- the only way anyone that's a casual can say a goal is a tap in is if you can go out there and do the exact same okay, thing. We're not football. Bro, bro, no, no, no. no, 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 no but a tap in's a tap in, no? Professional footballers can do that. No, but what's a tap in? the six yard box. Hey, where was he? Basically. He was like a decent amount away. This guy's from outside the, the well, he's outside, outside the eighteen. No, he wasn't bro. outside the eighteen. But just to finish the it the way he finished he's his left a, foot, almost inside the six yard box. And you're saying it's a banger. Uh, it wasn't close to the six. It was like in the middle of the six yard bro. and eighteen. It was like the penalty. No, it was, like penalty. It was also on. A, it was also a volley on the one touch. Bro, left foot, bro. Y'all gassing the and thing, bro. Y'all gassing it, bro. Near post. Nah, you guys are crazy, bro. The light skin tax is crazy, bro. It's based, crazy. Based, banger. Based, based on what? How is that a banger? Okay, maybe it's not a banger. It's a good you goal. Said you said banger. banger. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sometimes you just say it is a good, banger. It was a good goal. No, it was, it was a good goal, I'm man. Italian. I just, I, I like. You're not used to seeing <laughs> good goals that? watching. What does that mean? I'll tell you, bro. You <laughs> see tap ins <laughs> more than anything. <laughs> you say words you don't believe it. No, like we. Uh, you over exaggerate. We over exaggerate a little bit sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we can't. You yeah. be fans, bro. Over exaggerate everything. It's facts. If you don't want to time, that's how we are. Over exaggerate a little bit, man. But like, it's still a good goal. Okay, but let's start off with the first goal, bro. Okay, across the header. Okay, Barcelona. well, beautiful goal. That, that beautiful was a whole goal. It was yeah, a, if anything, that was a banger. Was a banger. <laughs> was it? it was a banger. Okay. <laughs> Bro, man hopped over the man back post. Boom. Boom. Who did he hop over? One of the defenders. Cruz. Yeah. Tony Cruz. Oh, okay. A guy who can't Cruz, jump. Just wanted to check. 35 he can't jump. Old. Could have been a foul outside the box. Jump, bro? He's 35. Anyway, it was a good start to the game. Barcelona got ahead. Which is obviously exciting because obviously this game had title implications, right? Yeah. If Barca were able to snag three points in this one, the title race can probably still be on. I guess. Now we know it's more than likely nah, I think it was over a wrap. Anyways. But either way, you want at the end of the day, when you're going up against your rival team, you want to win. Yeah. Right? It doesn't matter the situation at the table. You want to go out there. You want to win. You want to spoil the party. Um, and we thought Barca were going to do that. They got the early lead, 1-0 up. Um, but then Vinny scores the pen. That is never a pen, bro. Clear dive, clear as day. Check the replay. Man had his leg out like that, mm-hmm. and Vasquez just went whoop, just like that, just like that. Over the leg. Over the leg. I, I could, I could. Very was, minimal contact made. Super soft. It, it's pen. one of those. It was just like like Neuer with Saka. His leg was already out. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. Saka he was like, no, no. Saka was compare. running, and then he extended his leg to to make it look. No, no. I'm saying like how Neuer was just like stood there. Yeah, because Kubarsi was like he just stood there after oh, was like, he did it, and he stood there. As first of all, Kubarsi should never defend like that with his foot like sticking out because <laughs> players He's are smart. 17. Players are smart. They're gonna look for that and yeah. get the foul. Yeah, an experienced error. Okay, and if that is that tackle outside of the box, a foul or no? Outside the box, yeah. a dive is. I don't think it was a dive. Tough. 
tough, tough, 100% tough. dive. I'll say the box you'll give it to him, but inside the box or is VR? I, check I, that. I could say it could go either way. I, I think it was really They soft. checked VAR, didn't they? Yeah, well, VAR was saying. a little quiet, bro. They clearly didn't, didn't did not do anything in this dive. game, yeah. clearly. Um, oh, but no, I'll give him the penalty. Like, at the end of the day, okay, it's one, one. I saw I saw Madrid scoring a goal anyways. It was it was a very uh, up and down game for both teams. Mm-hmm. You know, we scored first in the Bernabeu. No way. I just saw I saw Madrid scoring again. And Vinny scored it, but also Ter Stegen almost had it. He was dove the right way, but achievement and. unlocked. Scored at the Bernabeu. <laughs> when is, when's the last time Man you scored at the Bernabeu? Okay, man. See, it always goes back to look at your team. Yo, when's the last time you've won the Champions League? <laughs> Long time, right? Yeah. When was the last time, by the way? Twenty seven six. Damn. Anyways, a lot of Triple calls pen? not went uh, in Barca's favor. Like the whole uh, Kunde and Vini interaction where Kunde got a yellow, even though Vini provoked him and was still yelling at him. Vini didn't get anything. Mm-hmm. Kamavinga pulling a uh, Yamal as you just threw on Oh my goal. gosh. Bro. Only a yellow. Could have been a red for sure. So are you going to pinpoint every single time that Barca didn't get a call? Bro, I'm what, about the, what about the opposite? Corruption. The reverse? What about the reverse? Point to me the, the reverse points. I'm not there sitting in... Pit, marking down every single time Barca didn't get a call. I am, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kamavinga pulling down Yamal, even though he's cooking in all game. Okay, for yellow, yeah. no red. Let's, let's be crazy. Yamal, Yamal had Kamavinga pocketed. He had to sub him off. Yeah. They subbed off Kamavinga because he couldn't do anything. Yamal had Kamavinga, Yamal had Kamavinga pocketed. They defended him? <laughs> no. Yamal, well, Yamal was, was Yamal cooking. cooking him. I Yamal think that's cooking. the word. Yeah, yeah, that was okay, okay. You knew they, what I meant. Like, I don't know why you guys like. No, I didn't. I actually didn't. You said pocketed. That's defended. I had an idea. I had an idea of what he meant. <laughs> but just because he pulled him down doesn't mean it's a red. Just threw on goal. Was, was one on one with the Kamavinga? Not yet, but still denying a clear goal scoring. Was, was, was it clear? Beside Where was he? Aside? Like on the would Yamal have to go through another defender to get the goal? He was isolated. Where was he isolated? In the box on the right side. Okay, just inside the box. So, so it's not clear on goal. Through another defender. The goal he was the closest guy, I believe. You believe? So it wasn't a red card. He's, cu- yeah, he's cutting in. Yeah. Yeah, it's from outside, that's not a red card. Okay, okay. then why is Araujo's a red card from Bradley Barcola? He was he also was cutting. Goal. No, he was cutting in from the left side. But the goalie was the first he wasn't guy cutting in from the left side. He was he wasn't, going straight no, towards he wasn't. the goalie. So is he it was coming from the so left side. It wasn't okay, straight okay. on. It was straight on. No, it wasn't. He it was, was not was. straight on. It was not straight on. Yes, it was. He was coming from the left side still. He was coming in this way. He was running straight in and Araujo rugby tackled him. No, he wasn't. And I think there's also a difference between the tackle. Pulling a player and then rugby tackling is completely different. Pulling the players back too. <laughs> Not as dude, the rugby at the end of the day, what looks worse? And what is worse? The rugby tackle. The optics. rugby tackle. Yeah. It's optics, right? At the end of the day, if you're the ref and you see someone just absolutely clatter someone one on one, you're gonna pull out the red card right away. If you're seeing someone cutting in, maybe there's a little bit of a shirt tug, you're probably gonna give a yellow. You're not gonna give a straight red for a shirt tug unless the guy's literally one on one on run and running with the keeper and you literally yank him down, which isn't what happened. I've seen reds given for worse. I'm sure we've seen Reds not given at all, right? Just like we saw here. But with that being said, Barca took the lead. Yeah, the young, uh, unfortunately, got uh, substituted. Yeah, injury. Injury. Now he's injured for the whole season, the rest of the season. season. Yeah, five to six weeks. Just next time, next time a Barca fan goes up against Valverde like that, just think second, I think twice. That's all. What does that mean? (laughs) Should have been a red, yeah. That should have been a red. He literally got, they both went for the ball. He's up on his ankle. They both went for the ball. Uh, uh, the young literally twisted his ankle because he hit the ball. Did he and get he, a card for that? Because they both went for the ball. His cleat was up on his ankle. No, it was not. No, I think De Jong, I think I don't think he went in with everything. I think it was one yeah. Of those his ankle was soft and weak, yeah. and they went. To, they both went it to was a tackle. One of those unfortunate situations where Valverde went in giving everything, and De Jong was maybe giving eighty like percent. And unfortunately, when collisions like that happen, unless you're going in one hundred percent, you're probably going to be getting the worst end of it, which is what happened with De Jong there, which is definitely. Uh, unfortunate, right? Because you never like to see a player go down like that. But was it Fedamin who came in for him? Yeah. Yeah. Afterwards. And then he ends up scoring the go-ahead goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. He scored uh, against Madrid before. Yeah. So it's good to see him score again. Yeah. But Yamal's goal denied. Clearly cl- crossed the line. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I've seen the angles clearly cross the line. You're telling me over a hundred, over a thousand probably cameras inside the mm-hmm. Bernabeu. You're saying not one could have caught the... The right angle. Oh, why, why are you looking at me, dude? I'm not. I'm not I wasn't on the. Not one. I was in the. Not one. Dude. How, how, dude. And tell me, how come there's no goal line technology in one of the biggest leagues in the world? You tell me, brother. How tell corrupt me. is that? How's that corrupt? How that is corrupt. There's another, there's another 19 teams that are involved. 
Yeah, but okay. the team in white is the one that's favored. How? No, Barca, I mean, how? Have, Barca just won the league last year with no, no uh, VR or whatever it's called. Goal line technology. Goal line technology. But, but now, now La Liga like, not have... Do but how does the league not have it? That seems more of a La Liga issue. Yeah. Yeah, well, but yeah. who runs La Liga? Tebas. Well, who does Mar- Tebas support? Mar- Madrid. Madrid. Who cares? Okay. I could go any team's way with them. But realistically, okay, spe- but realistically speaking, I could have gone against Madrid too. There's no goal but line it technology. It could have though. It's the, There's no way not having goal line technology can only favor one team in a 20-team yeah. league. It's impossible. But in this instance, it favored the team in white. <laughs> okay. Even it, though it crossed the line. And what about other instances where it didn't favor them? When? I don't know. I'm sure it's happened, dude. They're usually favored. At the end of the day, you don't know. You can't go back and look at every game and see. You can't just oh, use one instance and say, oh, the because end- there's no goal on technology, Madrid wins the league. At the end of the day, like, yeah, I, I agree. It's not Madrid, I guess, fault, but it's La Liga. Why don't they have our, uh, sorry, a goal line technology? I, I saw someone uh, on TikTok. They didn't TikTok, want to pay the money. I saw someone on TikTok said it's only like $3 million. Small league, yeah. I guess. And it's a billion-dollar league. like $6 billion league. They earn yeah. revenue. It would have been, I think he said, like 0.5% yeah. of their total inc- like uh, earnings. $3 million. You can't spend $3 million to get goal line technology. Seems like Barca Meanwhile, should be the ones. Barca should this. pay for it just for the, just for the El Clasico games. It's right. crazy because thousands of cameras in the stadium, mm-hmm. they showed like an instance where Jude was celebrating. Mm-hmm. And the angle is like where the goal line is. Mm-hmm. So with that angle, you could have determined whether the goal was in or not. Okay, but with what though? I was thinking with the camera with VAR. I was thinking about that. But VAR is not goal line technology. Hold on, I was, still, thinking, I was thinking about. To... I was thinking about that because when I showed you that picture, that 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 guy, I ca- okay, it came into my my head. After. That's that's a that's a moving. That's a moving, moving guy. camera. The, guy, the guy's camera. He that's not, a, that's not a static camera. That's why we got that angle. I was thinking that's why we got that angle because it was a guy. Not, he not, prob- not he, on the thing. Like he this. probably wasn't he on. He him. probably wasn't on the that specific position yeah, when the goal was being scored. Once the players started coming, celebrating, that's when he moved his, his camera towards yeah. that because he's a tr- he's a moving cameraman. Yeah. So the VAR room can't get those angles. He's a moving cameraman. How? What if his angle isn't on the exact line and in, in the moment of the goal? So you stop it at that moment when it's directly on the line. And no. How do you know no, if you it's know, exactly yeah, there or not? Because it's a guy that, that that's don't moving. The guy's literally running with the camera to the players for the celebrating. Like he's probably at the halfway scenario. line. But even then, besides that, there's thousands of cameras in the stadium, and not one could have picked it up. You're telling me today there's thousands of cameras in the stadium. What about 50 years ago when there's only 10? They're getting away with a thousand cameras in the stadium. Imagine with 10, bro. My argument with, to him with this was this: um, VAR, I'm sure, only have a select amount of cameras to use. Whether yeah. there is a thousand or whatever there is in in access, yeah. there, VAR only has a certain amount of cameras they can access and and look at. Mm-hmm. If there's no clear goal, like there is no clear goal. No. If it's and no, at the same time you can't really say it's fifty fifty, you're gonna for the most part you're gonna lean on the on the on a no goal, and secondly you're playing at they're playing at home they they deserve the ability advantage. So the refs should favor the team at home. Usually, well that's horrible. That's insane. That's Usually, I, I, me first, I, I don't agree with that. That's Usually. horrible. That's insane, what? Bro. But no, I think at the end of the day it's, it's always gonna be a tricky situation because we've seen like I'm even thinking back to I think it was the World Cup or the Euro Cup when there was that one play I think it was with Japan must have been the world cup when like it looked like the ball was out on every single angle mm-hmm. but then there was one very very specific angle where just a tiny spot of the ball was on the line it could have very well been a situation like this year because dude if you're looking at you know that was a top down angle. if you have 100 angles and in 99 angles it doesn't look like it's in but on one angle it looks like it's in what are you going to go with the you're going to go with the 99 because if you have 99 angles where it looks like the bar, the ball is not in. Those are all bad angles, though. And you have one angle where it looks like it's in. But what if that's the best angle? Well, they clearly didn't have that angle. Dude, the, exactly. The, the only angle where it looks like the ball is in is no, a but, zoom but in. You said, you said the Japan like, goal, there was that one angle that yeah. made it look like it was out. Yeah. And all, the, all it takes is that one angle. The other yeah. ones look like it went in. Yeah. So what? You're going to go with it the ones It looks that went like in? it went in, but if a 99 of them, it's clearly not in. Yeah, exactly. But if that you said if that one, what do you go with? It looks like it's in. But if you have 99 where it looks like it's not in. But that was the best angle, the one that was. They didn't have that angle. They didn't though. have the. No, not, not. I'm talking about the Japan one. Yeah, no, the Japan one, I know what you're saying. But the Japan one, that's the best angle you can get. And that was one. That's but in, all you need. But in this instance here, no, if you don't have that one yeah, yeah, angle that clearly shows it, all you have is this one kind of looks like it's in. It, yeah. And then now you have a bunch where it kind of doesn't look like it's in or it's not in. 
you can't really make a decisive decision. Oh, they didn't right? have the best angle. And they did. Like if they had that angle of the Japan goal, the, that would a hundred percent show. Exactly. It then you see the line that was a hundred percent down up down. But they didn't have that angle. Then the only angle where it looks like it's a goal is someone watching TV. They took a picture of the screen. They zoomed in, and it kind of looks like it's in. You, even then, you can't even tell because the ball can clearly still be on the line. You can't tell from that angle that it's in. But regardless, the fact that we're disputing this is a problem. How is there no goal yeah, line no, technology in 2024 in La Liga? Well, that's you a that, that, that's a La Liga problem, man. You no, guys, I'm, you, I'm guys not, you guys watch La Liga. I'm not saying oh, like it's anyone like. Well, yeah, it is someone's fault. Like, why in the league? We're make not it saying happen, it's Madrid's fault either. We're just saying in general. Like, why is this issue. a thing in 2024? Invest it's in almost your, 2025. Invest in your league, man. Like, how do we, in a major league, in El Clasico, the biggest game on the planet, the most viewed game on the planet, how is there no goal line technology? Because you know there's going to be controversy every time. It's it's a game that's had controversy for over 50 years. And when was goal line technology introduced? I feel like goal wow. line technology came before VAR, which, which for me it is it kind it. of... That's, that, wasn't that the first way yeah. they used it? Yeah. Which for me is kind of crazy that they don't have it, but they have VAR. It, it, for me, it just doesn't make sense. Like, right? but, La Liga have 8K cameras. Yeah, but they have AK, but no top down camera, bro. Like, <laughs> but they can't install uh, goal line technology. Hey. I want to know what the reasoning is, though. Tebas, they bro. gotta have some kind of reasoning because it's, it's not money. Ask Tebas, it's not money. It so there has to be no, it's not, bro. It's they make billions of dollars every Maybe year. They, f- they don't have a need for it, like, they don't think that there clearly is a need for anything like, to favor the team in white, bro. But like, if I don't know, man, if it's if it's a necessity in the FIFA World Cup, the biggest competition. FIFA made a rule after that Frank Lampard goal. You need after that Frank Lampard disallowed goal. You need goal line technology, but also to save their own to save their own asses, like like people like Matthews or like other people who say like it, the uh, the league favors the Madrid. Conspiracy theorists. Why not save your own ass <laughs> and put that? So okay, look, it is what it is. You think they're you know like being talked about in this? Because look how much we're talking about it. They yeah. must love Does Madrid it. like winning. Yeah, of course they, they do. You think this brings eyes to like the La Liga? <laughs> well, it's, it's, good, it's good marketing that they're I not following know, the rules. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's the only that's the only thing I can think about. Maybe they're like doing it on purpose. Yeah, but then that yeah, goes so they can win leagues. Bro. That goes to the ethics situation. It's not ethical business. It's not ethical football. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> but I, but that's Madrid Club del Football. Bro, that has nothing to do Madrid. with Madrid. It's, it's, it's the whole league. By, by that logic, if you're saying Madrid don't deserve to win this title, then Barca don't deserve to win the title. I'm not saying but based off this is this, this the shit the decision. There's been many more decisions. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'll <laughs> never forget when Alfredo Di Stefano was supposed to go to Barca, yeah. but Real Madrid held them hostage in the city of Madrid. Yeah? Yeah. What happened? They didn't let him sign for Barca. And then what? And what? He signed for Madrid and then five, six champions leagues later. Spain was under dictatorship yeah. at that point and Franco was the one controlling it. And he didn't Why want a team go to Catalan. <laughs> yeah. He wanted the team he wanted him to go to the team in the capital. Yeah. And look how look how well it worked out for him. I mean, hey, look at all the success that he had. Maybe it would have been Madrid, Barcelona with right? history he lesson Champions with the boys right? Barca boys. Who knows, man? Yeah. He went to, if he went to Barca, he could have been a no one, right? So maybe in the yeah, end, or, we, or we could have won thirteen champions. Wasn't Barca maybe? small during Ballander that time? level player, yeah. yeah. Weren't Barca like not that good during that time? If they could sign a player of that caliber, how Yeah, but like he wouldn't have done what he did with Madrid. You with, could say the same about Madrid. It was like the forties, and yeah, but Madrid was still winning both. everything back then. How do you know? The winning started with him. Yeah, yeah the Stefano. I swear he's he's been. They've been winning since like he has yeah. their first Ever. European trophy, I believe. Yeah, first, like, I feel CL. like I feel like in that era, it's almost like the NBA. If you have one good player, you could they could have carried. Yeah, you, right. You don't yeah. really need a, like a whole strong team. Like realistically, man, everyone else on the pitch is probably part time working at the, the sawmill. You know what I mean? In that era, realistically speaking, I'm being, I'm being dead yeah. ass. You know what I mean? In that era, you have one in the mines, player. bro. You have one elite player, and you can literally win. Yeah, yeah the rest right? are playing yeah. Minecraft. And, yeah, and it's just that he was unethically sourced to the team. Yeah, but dude, I'm sure it happened millions of times. No, 100 yeah, percent speaking, right? But I like that I happened, like ethical right? soccer. Yeah, I think we all do. But at the end of the day. If you like ethical soccer, maybe you shouldn't support Barcelona. But, <laughs> no. um, I mean, no. at the Barca, end of the day, Barca are for the people. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I think obviously it's yeah, one yeah. of those situations that you don't know. Uh, obviously, it's unfortunate. I think the one thing that we can, you know, safely say is La Liga needs to implement goal line technology going into next season. Yeah. Let's hope, right? So that way we don't have to have this conversation <sighs> again next year on the pod. All I all I know We're is charging it, up it, over it there. Tur- it, it, it's. <laughs> It was what? such a hot topic that even the president of Barcelona had to come out with a statement. Sure Bar- Matthews, Barcelona. go ahead and read it out. So, President Laporta. The man had to do a video. He did a video. He yeah. did, okay, go play. And, and then he started a, reading the script. He came with a David Dobrik vlog, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> said, we asked the Spanish Football Federation to provide us with all the images and audios of Lamin's cancelled goal. Mm -hmm. If it was a legal goal, we do not rule out asking to replay the match. We will go further. We mm -hmm. do not rule out anything. Okay. What do you guys think of this Replay statement? would be sick. I, th I think they want the audio, if anything. Hold on. So oh. was it called a goal and then disallowed, or was it just never no, called, it was a, never, goal? Just never called a goal? called a goal. Okay, so I don't think it should be replayed. Yeah. What if it's a legal goal, though? Game's done. I mean, legal That's clear goals, corruption. Sure Game's done. Been. That's clear corruption. So what, you're going to play another full 90-minute game? Then we might as well play what? replay England-Germany. <laughs> yeah, I get the legends yeah, back. Eh? At, the end of the day, at the end of the day, there's some things you can't go back and replay a 90 minute game. Why not? What are you going to do? You're going you to give it a draw then? 3 3. No, technically uh, you can. can. You can. Why not? Look at all the FA Cup replays. Yeah, but that's because the team's tied in the game. Yeah. Okay. That, that's part of the that's cup. That's a rule that's set before the yeah, match. Technically, we would have tied. No. And then what? Each team, gets a, each team gets a point. I'm, then I'm, replay. Say, I'm saying, why would you replay the game? No, I, 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 I think the fans would enjoy another game. I'm not Madrid fans. Barca fans, maybe. Hey, more money to be made, right? Yeah. yeah. Another, another, another uh, uh, Carol G. You know what they point. should just do? They should just put like four El Clasicos in a season instead of just two. You know what? Let's just make the league lo uh, Barca versus No, I, I think if... I, 36 I match days. I truly think if anything, just <laughs> no, don't no. give those points out. Just what? Those three points just don't give out. So if it was, if it was, if it was uh, official that that was a goal, mm -hmm. yeah, Anything no one gets points. Bargain. Okay, so you can go back so to why anything. Would, why would you not just give them one point each? Which would or give them one point each. The it's the same thing. It's the same or thing. How about you give? I agree. So this is, has this ever happened in, in like the league of football before? What? Or the game has? But to it be has. It has happened in European football before. I, I saw someone on TikTok. I forgot yeah, what team he said, but he said that. Yeah. Uzbekistan. He said that there was a there was a game that actually uh, happened. Yeah, but I I, I don't I don't agree happened. with it. I don't agree with it. But then at the end of the day, then all sorts of things come in. Exactly. Play. That's why I don't agree if, with if it. If it counts as a goal, then maybe what does it does there now need to be a different amount of extra time that was played in the game? Can another team have scored a goal? Everything. Can changes. you start same lineups? Like like what yeah. happens? And what happens if a player got suspended that game? What happens if a player got injured? Right. It's it's, it's, young. it's it's kind of a mess, right? I think realistically, if it was a goal, if you wanted my opinion, if it's deemed that it was a goal, they've the secret camera, secret service, this, that, and the other. Give them a point each, three, three. It's a draw. No, but th that can never. That'll never. The game happen. would be played different. That will never happen. Right? That'll I know, never happen. I know, but I'm saying realistically, the game shouldn't be replayed. No, the game. It's silly that not. the game's being replayed, and at the end of the day, that you guys are complaining that they're already playing too many games. You're gonna go make them play another game for what? Just for the same outcome, realistically. Like, crazy. They're worried about a potential five point difference at the table that they had to do in this. They had to do this, bro. They had to do what, dude? They had to do this. It do what? I'm Not so sick of this. I quit, what, dude. Like, I want to ask you guys: What's Messi's biggest accomplishment in his career? When he Dropping ball time, maybe. Nope. Walking away with the uh, Ballon d'Or that nope. he didn't deserve. Nope. It's definitely the World Cup. Nope. When, when he put, me, when he put five up, playing when he, in a league that's run by Madrid. When he put five against Madrid and walked off the field. Yeah. Messi's biggest accomplishment is getting eight ligas in eleven years, fighting against Madrid, Perez, and Tebas. I said exactly what I mean. said. But that was good for the league, though, no? It's crazy. I hate corruption in football. You know you guys are corrupt, too, right? Me? Oh, every team's corrupt, but the team <laughs> in the capital is most corrupt. Okay, so most corrupt, least corrupt. At the end of the day, the better team won. Yeah. Well, maybe. I, I, just think, I just think it's just... I, I just think it's childish that the president's even coming out with this statement. Yeah, that should not... Like, he should have just... Like, the Barca just should have put out a... a uh, something on a statement, like on, a statement on Twitter yeah. signed or off something. By, signed off by bro, It legit looked like a YouTube Dobrik, uh, David Dobrik video. Like the guy's like, start. Okay. And he starts reading. I'm like, bro, how many takes on, man? Yeah. No, but like, it's and stupid. At least like, like don't, so childish don't ask me. for replay. Just bring up the yeah, fact that there needs to be a uh, goal line technology yeah. in the upcoming years. That's or, all. That's all you should have done. Yeah, exactly. Right? Can we just check if it's, if it's, if it's true, if it's, if it's a goal or not, maybe there's a fine, maybe something happens, but no, Replay, come on. Like, that Why was not? a childish thing. Ever. But if you believe it's a goal, you should want to replay the game. No, that will never not. happen, though. Why? No, why would you want to replay for it? It could happen if it was very that, close. No, no, no. no. Why, that will why never would, happen. Why wouldn't you want to replay the game? If that you, will if never happen. If you're a happen. Barcelona fan and you're so adamant that this was a goal and you're adamant you that the game was corrupt, should you not want to replay it? I, I, I feel like you lose just feasible, this. Bro. You lose. It's not why? feasible and you lose the integrity of the game. Because now you're going to, every it, single thing you're going to go back. Okay, well, in this situation here, the integrity is already lost, supposedly. Yes. So okay, would, you, so would you not want to replay the game? If you're so adamant that it was a goal, why are you settling and saying, oh, just give them a fine. Give them a fine. Why would you give them a fine? Replay the game, no? 
Okay, uh, we'll see. Well, you don't want to replay the game? Them. Sure, but I think that's just the dumbest thing ever. The only thing is, with replaying a game, you do it once, you're going to have to keep exactly. doing it for Exactly, exactly. Okay, so what? If there was an error, you should try to make it right. What's a fine going to do? You give Madrid a 15K fine. It's going back in their pockets, realistically. Oh, okay, it's a something. So what? It. And the league's corrupt. The and thing you is, they wouldn't right replay up. the game, though. It just wouldn't happen. So what's going to happen, then? Nothing. Okay, so... Not maybe not not even find the uh, Madrid. Maybe you find the rest. You find the something. You have to find someone. It's not you the rest fault, dude. It's no, but re- it is the rest fault. What's this? What's that? I don't see like a clean tackle to me. <laughs> maybe I was wrong on that one, but <laughs> was it even then more players should be gotten? <laughs> oh, shit, I lost my train of thought on that. Uh, um, look, Madrid. Madrid shouldn't have stayed. Are the pitch. most corrupt team in soccer? Yeah, it's simple. I, I'm but sure. I, I'm sure. I don't know, man. You've been looking at first, but. I, I let you off there. Second, I let huh? you out there. But anyways, I got a quick question. <laughs> yeah. Who is the worst player you guys have ever seen live in a stadium? In a stadium? Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Shit. That's tough because I watched Brazil, Chile. <laughs> it's a very random question. Uh, I've watched Canada, Jamaica, Honduras. Probably Neymar. Interesting. Worst player I've ever seen live, this guy named Pines. He was a center back on DC United. Yeah. Worst performance I've ever seen on a football pitch. He probably misplaced over 50 passes. Just had a mirror. Just, <laughs> um, just had a mirror. Damn. Every time the ball would come in, it would bounce off his knee, bounce off his head. It was against Inter Miami. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, recently? No, yeah. last year. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And brutal. I've never seen a worse kind of football pitch. We're just calling up. Like what yeah, are you, you saying? Yeah, you just threw a straight. Are we line. just calling? Yeah, are we just calling on bad players for not performing well in the worst players I've seen play in real life? Jay Zinho. <laughs> I honestly don't even know to be honest. To be honest, like, I can't notice either. I can't even think of of like one. Um, I could name the best player I've seen live. Go when, ahead. I went one, when I went, when I went, when we watched Brazil versus uh, Chile, Sanchez had a a game, good game. No, the best player I've ever seen live was Sebastian Gervingo score a hat trick. And it was like one of the most perfect hatches I've ever seen. There was a free kick. There was a chip. I don't think I ever watched Jovinko live. So you're saying like best performance you yeah. saw live? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Honestly, yeah. Probably for me, Sanchez or even Robinho cooked that game too. Yeah, he did. I don't know. It's hard to like pinpoint like a poor performance that kind of like stuck yeah, with me, right? Storm. Like, I just wanted to get that Pines moment off my chest. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, what know. do you do to you, bro? What What I do remember is when we went to go watch that Juve versus Milan game. Like Juve looked horrific. Yeah, yeah, you could. The whole team okay, that's a, if I the worst yeah. team I've seen play, Juve. <laughs> it's <laughs> not. It's not just <laughs> legit. Not bashing Juve. I, I saw the game. That was, that was, was, that was horrible. That was horrible. We were was the worst like, performance what ever. What are we watching? Like, I, I, we couldn't believe our eyes. To be uh, honest, it was, like, it was it was a tough watch. And it it's crazy. What's watch. even crazier tough is tough is What's even crazier is Leal's fall off from that game. Oh, Leal was cooking that game. And look at him now, with like his cheeks. Yeah, he doesn't run. Just yeah. doesn't move. It's it looks cheap. like it looks like he's honestly he's over. He doesn't care. I think realistically the best thing for Milan and probably for him oh. as well is probably you know you get sell him to PSG. Yeah. That's clearly where he'd fit in, right? And then uh, he cooks there, man. Yeah, cooks at PSG. They get he's some money in Milan. It. They can rebuild the squad. Especially if you're getting new gaffer, you don't need him. Uh, new gaffer, well everything. new squad. Oh, that the whole team that thing needs a little rebuilding after today's performance. Well, no, they did definitely a lot of the Serie A teams. No. Whoa. Whoa. You know. No, I don't think How? so. Just Milan and Juve, probably. Milan, Juve, Napoli. 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 Napoli, they don't have a manager. Until they get a manager, they can't rebuild. So they need to rebuild? Um, no, their team's good. They just got to, they need okay. a manager. The team's not very good. Their team's pretty good. Dude, at the end of the day, their team can't, they won, what, three or four gaffers this season? Two. Three, technically. Two. Because they had the interim gaffer. Two. They still have them. They still have the interim yeah. gaffer? Jesus, that's horrific. Yeah, they don't have a manager. Give them a chance. The team is still good. Are but I mean, those players. No, well, oh, Seaman's leaving next year. Maybe. One of them has to leave. No, they don't have to leave. No, one of them's leaving, man. And but it's reg- Regardless, gone. that team needs a rebuild. If, if O Seaman leaves, then yeah, okay, rebuild. Their back line is kind of skeef. That's the only bad part about the team. The midfield? No, the midfield's good. It just needs a manager. Who's going to play midfield next season? Wotka. Okay. Zielinski's gone. Okay. <laughs> they lost Elmas. They lost Zielinski. Elmas never started, really. Okay. Am I blanking on? Oh, uh, Anguisa. Anguisa's good. Okay. And who's the third guy? His form dropped a little bit. No, that's just the manager. Their tactics okay. are stupid. Yeah. I, anyway, go. Point proven. 
No, they don't have to rebuild. They just need a manager. Okay. So they'll rebuild the squad. Unless Osiman leaves, then they need to rebuild, as I said. Point proven, a fantastic season for Inter. And our guy, Tejon Buchanan, first Canadian men's national team player to win Serie A. That's Ever. huge, man. Yeah. Good Ever. move. Good move for Tejon. Brampton, St. Edmund Campion graduate. Uh, Colorado graduate. Um, Syracuse. Syracuse gra- yeah. uh, not graduate, but product. Yeah. With him through the whole way, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he played on Real Colorado. I remember those days. Mm. Brilliant. Brilliant. Shout out Tejon, man. Yeah. One of my favorite Canadian ballers. Love to see him, man. And, and of course, coming in half to, halfway through the season, too, kind of. Yeah. Obviously not getting so much playing time as well, but I think next year is going to be his year for him. Hopefully, right? Really He'll really have a so. summer to adjust to the system. Learning yeah. the language, I think, is the biggest thing. Right? I feel He's like he might have a run Italian. these last couple of games. He's got to learn some Italian. Actually, you're right. They won the league already. Yeah. Dumfries had got a red card, too. He got a red card, too, yeah. So, yeah. That was a rough game, bro. That was start, a good game. Start him next week. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts next week. Mm-hmm. Get him some minutes. Why not? I want to talk quick about Man United, though. Just quickly. Wow. <laughs> quickly. I <laughs> love this. Wow. He's going against his his best friend over here. <laughs> these, guys be, are, these guys are... Have to be a whole talk these guys are stuck by the hip okay, every so time. Barcelona, they're... Really? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, And so then you, you have the human centipede over here with you three. Human centipede. Okay, so you're... chilling by myself. You're so the you're, doctor. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying quickly. So what do you have to quickly. say? What do you have to say about it? Three nothing. Yeah, I, I'll give you. I'm not, I, all I have to say is Aaron Wan-Bissaka is the worst player in the, in in United history. Yeah, he's history. Pretty, in, in history. He's Dude, he caused bad. all three goals. Right. And he almost caused the last one that almost got gave them the win in, in the end of the match. I was gonna I was gonna go with Anthony. Might be Anthony. No, no. Might be Anthony just, he came just on, Anthony he came just, on at three nothing. As soon as he came on, they scored three <laughs> goals. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't. I don't blame. I don't McGuire, blame. McGuire was making darting runs, bro. Dude. With the ball. McGuire the was making. Side. McGuire was making runs on the left side already, like three, three or but three, two down. I uh, don't know what ten. I don't know what. In, in, but in, in my mind, like just going to what McGuire's thinking. McGuire, like he's taking the ball up, thinking, oh, you know, maybe I can bring it up. But you're taking these players out. Like a midfielder can be bringing that up. But now yeah, it's that know. midfielder dropping back because he's going up. So like, uh, you need you that imposing whole... force going up. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just it's just terrible football. And then for Ten Hag to not have a system in play after tubbing out his players like Garnacho, close came off at half for. But you know what I mean? Like, hey, we're three 0 up. Let's seal it off rather than you know. Okay, they're just they're just position for position, and then hopefully we're gonna win this game. Just ridiculous, and no, then yeah, and then and then for Anthony just at the end of the game start doing this to yeah, like the other the team. Second division team. It's man. like, bro, <laughs> shameless. The rest of the team was like insane. shaking their hands. McGuire was shaking their hands. A good game, like it was obviously well deserved. Yeah, I wouldn't start him another game all year. But dude, he's terrible, man. Terrible okay, football. what I actually want to ask was, does Ten Hag stay another season, or is he out for sure? No, bro, it doesn't matter what I say. <laughs> I know, I know, but like for you, because you're the United fan. I wouldn't want him there. No. Okay. So this from the beginning, that guy sucks. That's it. We have no. Also, we have no like defense. We have to fucking play um, Casimiro center back. Really, I got he might be. Off, he honestly man. might be your best center back. He player. fell off, but at the same time, what do you expect from a player who's coming got out? No you know, he's kind of in, his, in his, reti- his retirement league. Like you don't expect much from him. He's he's old already. He's playing in a, in a completely different, old. completely different football compared to La Liga. Yeah, yeah. He was on the best team in the world. Now he's on a team that's that can't make top four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you guys think, realistically speaking, I know we all want this ten hag in, ten hag out. Okay. He hasn't been doing the worst of jobs. He's been pretty bad. He's been bad, but they're still He's been, been worse than all the other gaffers. They've still been competing. For they're what? Still, they're, still in, they're still in and around the top of the table. But the, okay. And if he can win another trophy. Can I ask you a question? He's not going to be. They're not beating City. I, I don't know. Can I ask they're, you not a question? City. they're not going to be City, but can I ask you a question here? Has Chelsea had a bad season? I, it's exactly Has where I was Chelsea going. Has Chelsea had a bad yeah. season? Probably, but United are ahead of Chelsea. Three points. Yeah. And what? Chelsea have a game in hand as well. And a game really? Hand. Yeah. Okay. What place are United in? <laughs> Seven. Oh. What do you think we were at? <laughs> I, thought I, said four, in around the table, I, thought, I thought y'all were like fifth or sixth, like talking oh, about like, like Europa League. Nah, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> and if and if anything, I digress. Ten Hag's, Ten Hag's lucky that Chelsea's doing bad. They're going to pass them. But they're going to pass them. Too. I hope. Yeah. I hope they do. Really? They bro- they probably won't at this point, like, what are we? What are you playing for? <laughs> That's my fault. I thought I thought y'all were like fifth, sixth place. Like maybe you can sneak in a little bit. Like I thought you guys like were right, right behind Spurs. No. But there's oh. another team Spurs in there. Spurs are ten too? points ahead, and they're ten. T- they're tied with Newcastle. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Then maybe, yeah, maybe Ten Hag out, but I don't know. Who, <laughs> wrap him. But who do you replace him with then? Like Anybody. You could put a thing. garbage can there. It'd be better. <laughs> I don't know, dude. This, bring this, back Carrick, bro. Yeah, I was going to say that. Bring back Carrick, dude. dude. No, nah, put, put it in a... If we're talking about squads that need a rebuild... Dude, that's a squad that needs a proper. That rebuild. squad needed a rebuild. We haven't Years had a ago. no. Like we haven't had a proper up, rebuild since Ferguson left. Like, like a proper one. I'm saying it's because been they, years. They, they can't see themselves as going under. It's like, like it's like it's like we had this yeah. boat, right? This nice boat. We'll call it the SS SS Fergie SS Fergie. <laughs> and, like, and like and like and like we got we had a little iceberg underneath. No, no, no. First, we won the title. You know, Ferguson in retirement, great, great thing. And then some guy came on board. Could not know how to like, steer the boat. They little don't know how to repair anything. Little either. scratch underneath, and instead of using like the nice, you know, repairing it nicely, they just duct tape it. No, use a what's it called again? Flex seal. Flex seal. <laughs> Flex seal. <laughs> a little duct tape here. Okay, you know this will patch up for a little bit, and then it comes off again. And, and then the next it hits another <laughs> another iceberg hit. <laughs> Kablam! They just keep replacing the, the 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 driver with some other random dude. Yeah. And then you know just duct taping it up. So how do they get around this iceberg? By another fucking boat, bro. <laughs> they, they just keep going driving in circles, apparently, but. They probably they probably spent enough money to buy a few boats. Oh, yeah. Literally in this process, they spent <laughs> a crazy they amount of like, money. Oh, but they could have. <laughs> they're a team that can't afford to rebuild. Like you're saying, what? You no, like no, not afford. Like they, like not afford monetarily. Mo- monetarily, like like can't as a the team, time. they can't afford that time. So we can't the afford can. the club can't afford. Bro, that time. We, they have to be a team that, like Jay says, these teams have to be competing every year. The thing but is, they're not competing. If they if they did, I know, a proper but they rebuild, should be competing every year. If they did a proper rebuild, they would be a top team by now again. So. What does it take them to just f- complete rebuild and what? They're like they 10th, finish the league tenth. Ronaldo said himself, ninth. You got you got to get rid of everybody. Like I don't think I don't think rebuild. having I don't think <laughs> having I don't think having a complete rebuild will literally screw us that much. Finishing in ninth, we'll mm-hmm. probably finish as well as as well right, as, we, as, as well as we are doing now, if not better. Because at this point, I think we're literally at rock bottom. Honestly, you might you might do better if you bring in a young coach that has new strategies and and Ten tactics Hag. and everything. Not Ten Hag. <laughs> Some young guy, you get yeah. you get rid of Ooh. all you get rid of all the egos on the team. Lampard, no, <laughs> Gerard, no. You get rid of all the egos on the team. That that's only gonna make your team better. Bro, Lampard comes, Mason Mount, the prodigy son starts going off again. Just, hey, maybe he needs that. Hey, there you but, go. For real. But yeah, let's Just build the team around Mainu and Garnacho, bro. And yeah. Oh yeah, that's who he subbed off. He subbed off Mainu at half of Garnacho, like expecting like, the, the team game was yeah, over. The two best players, the two, the two players that have been saving. Build the team against Mainu, Garnacho, and Ballon d'Or winner, bro, Martial. <laughs> Martial's gone. Martial's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Spurs. I know, uh, we have a couple players leaving at the end of the season, to be honest. So well, yeah, but probably, probably need to be more than a couple. I Whole think team. realistically speaking, like all of our teams can use a little bit of a rebuild, a little bit of a kick in the pants. So we'll see what happens. Right, the season's you know slowly winding down. Pretty much every league is is done. Premier mm-hmm. League's done, um, Liga is done, Bundesliga is done. <laughs> you know, but City football has done. has, uh, has a lot to. But summer. you know, we still have some exciting Champions League games to come, and we have a huge, huge summer to come. Europa Cup, Europa Cup, <laughs> Europa Cup, Euros. Guy Euro just Cup. talking waffling, bro. Euro Cup is what I mean. Copa America, Copa America, a lot of fun oh. stuff. Oh, the Olympics. The Olympics oh, yeah. too. Yes, twenty twenty four. A lot of football for us to to watch and to salivate over. You know, really Whoa. looking forward to it. Jeez, bro. Yeah. Yo, bro. Yo. This guy watching. But yeah. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks again everyone for tuning in. Mm-hmm. It's been another great uh, great time trolling you guys. Cheeky. Um, and not really getting my feelings hurt for another episode, which is great. <laughs> Chabby outside black magic. But uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a great epi. Thanks for tuning in. You know who we are. Thank you. Cheers, like, boys. Comment, subscribe. You know who we are. Say it. Man, you know they know who we are, man. Shout out to all the audio listeners. You know who we are. Shout out the audio listeners. Listeners, I can't talk. Give us five stars, boys. Thanks. Give us five stars. Be sure to comment below. And we out. Oh, it's just guys. And with that, we out. Deuces.